Powerful testimony on the second day of the marathon bombing trial. The father of the youngest victim took the stand, describing the moment he realized his son Martin would not survive. Beth Germano is live outside the federal courthouse tonight with all the day's developments. Beth. And Bill Richard told the story of the final moments of his son's life, one of several witnesses to offer gut-wrenching testimony. So difficult to listen to, the defense team objected to the extent of some of the testimony. But the judge disagreed, and there were powerful images. If we needed any more proof of Johar Sarnayev's involvement, this is it. Images revealed publicly for the first time in court show Sarnayev with the white baseball hat, the moment he dropped his backpack right behind Bill Richard and his family. That second blast in front of the Forum restaurant that killed his eight-year-old son Martin and maimed his six-year-old daughter Jane. Bill Richard took the stand and calmly testified about the first moments after the explosions. He told the jury, I was blown into the street. He then walked to his daughter, Jane. He said he noticed her leg. She didn't have it. He then turned his attention to Martin. I saw a little boy who had his body severely damaged by an explosion. When I saw Martin's condition, I knew that he wasn't going to make it. Throughout his heart-wrenching testimony, he sat just feet away from Sarnayev, describing the ringing in his ears that plagues him after the bomb blast. He told the court, but I can still hear you. I can still hear music. I can still hear the beautiful voices of my family. It was agony felt by survivor Jeff Bowman, who lost both his legs in the bombing. His is one of the enduring images of the tragedy. Bowman recalled a guy bumping into him that day. It was Tamerlan Sarnayev. He noticed a bag on the street and told his friend, maybe we should get out of here. Two seconds later, he saw a flash and was on the ground. This is really messed up. This is messed up. This is messed up, he testified. This is how it's going to end. I had a great life. I saw the world. I kind of made peace with myself at that point. You know, it's, it's, it's just been a long day, you know. Families and survivors clearly drained as they left the court by testimony and these powerful images. Now, the defense already acknowledged in opening statements yesterday that Sarnayev carried out the bombings. They did not cross-examine any witnesses yet again today. And the trial continues on Monday. Reporting live from outside the federal courthouse, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. David and Lisa. Thank you, Beth.